here we are. We left Porcupine Campground on our way to Allenby Junction, which is a slightly ugly camp apparently, but uh, one that we could actually get a booking at. Um, some big group showed up late last night and they took our bench away. We had a bench right next to our tent and they just move it to their tent. So I'm gonna be having a word with the warden about this. We had a oatmeal and a meat stick for Brecky. And yeah, we're on our way. Got like 19K to do today, so bigger than yesterday's zero. And yeah, should be nice. did. Uh, Will's gonna try to swim to this island. We're oh, at I just all... touched the water with my hands. That was a mistake. <laughs> Cold. There's a Cinnaboyne. All right, turn back if you need to, Will. Okay, I'm going. Yeah. All right, he's got like 20 meters. 20 meters, they probably, probably deeper now. Nah. That's so far away. <laughs> you got probably 50 meters to where you were. He's turning back, too cold. How does it feel? cold yeah but it's the first bathing i've had in 10 days oh not a cloud oh man <laughs> it's a big cloud out. anyways film the horses well oh there's horses yeah, and a, key and a doggy <laughs> so we're crossing out of Mount Assiniboine Provincial Park. You can see the sign there. We've had a lovely day of weather today. We sat at Og Lake for probably an hour, maybe a little longer. Took a nice dip. Went for a swim, yeah. a snack. Now the weather's just excellent. Passed a group of horses. They also had some dogs with them. And humans. Get and that. the humans were even on top of the horses. Yeah, I get that. Crazy. Uh, but the dogs were cute. And the horses were cute. Yeah. Now we're heading back into Banff. So we only have to go... What is it? Two more days of Banff. Then a day of BC. Then two days of Kananaskis. Yeah. Well, Kananaskis, I should say. Yeah, I wouldn't want to confuse the folks. But yeah, I mean, the weather's excellent. It's so pretty out here. It is. Great day at Og Lake. Great views of the Boiner. Assiniboine, that is. And dropping down Assiniboine Pass now to Allenby Junction Campground. Yeah. Which apparently has new bear lockers. So yeah. Should, so be, it exciting. should be exciting. Mm hmm. We're going to go by Gibraltar Rock. Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, we've reached a very important milestone we have. in our uh, TRE expedition. Would you like to share? Well, what is it? Back in Thanksgiving of last year, yeah. we came on a trip here mm -hmm. um, from Bryant Creek Shelter up to Magog. Yeah. And you see, from Bryant Creek, you can take two trails. Let me see. There's this is the, the official names are the lower. Uh, well, not official. Okay. Because I've never seen that anywhere else. Okay, Anyways, well, there's a debate here. Okay, well, basically, one trail says that you can hike on it and you cannot horse on it, and the other one says you can horse on it. It doesn't say you can't hike on it. Yeah, so, but it says you can horse on it. So, so, so during this Thanksgiving trip, I was, we were see the the one with horses is two kilometers shorter, and one would no, imagine not two, not that much. Or one in a bit. 
and one would imagine it's probably, the facts. it's probably a better trail than the hiker trail because the hiker trail wasn't a opti most optimal trail because you know horses can't do that trail oh, you want me to just pave it for you then well mr. Trail, mr i need a nice trail horses need a nice trail to get up yeah yeah but do you need pavement for your feet well say so anyways it, so it keep was telling the story so we are like at the bottom and i'm like well we might as well do the horse trail because it's shorter and it's going to be a more comfortable trail to walk on but will said um no hikers aren't allowed on the horse trail because it's the horse trail i'm like amen brother but to, to the other sign the thing closing that one it said oh, so hikers only no horses the one towards the horses sign it says horses it didn't say hike no hikers so mm -hmm. i mean i feel like if it was no hikers allowed then it would say no hikers because yeah. that would make sense that would make logical sense but does everything make logical sense Liam? I, a lot of things make logical no. sense how about this how about the fact that the upper and lower trails are within half a kilometer of one another at all times but they only close the one does that logically make sense shouldn't they close this one okay. too well you well, you would think right well, just like you would think it well, would say do you no think hikers. It would, it, would it make logical sense to put the nice at lodge out of business or the other the one? The Nicet Lodge? Nicet? You realize there's three other ways into this park, right? Yeah, but what about the Albertans that want to come in the easiest way? The easiest way from Alberta is probably sunshine. No gravel road. <laughs> yeah, but for... Same Ken, distance. But what about, distance. what about Canmorians? Still easier. It's like an hour and ten minutes down a gravel road versus 30 minutes to sunshine. Yeah, but the trudge in is a lot longer. No, it's no? the exact same distance. 26 kilometers. Okay. Anyways... We have no choice now to take uh, the hiker or the horse trail. We have mm -hmm. to take the horse trail because the hiker one is closed due to bears. Which, uh, once again, reinforces that my point that it's not only meant for... It's not just meant for horses. It's meant mm. for people of Disagree. all... all Disagree. Feet. I think it was a weak-willed individual at Banff National Park who said, let's do a half ass job of closing this area, even though we should close the whole area. Oh, so should we just walk around and- No, 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 I think they should have closed the whole area, but they were like, oh, you have businesses. Oh, well, well what would we life. have done then? Okay, anyways, we have to take his trail, so he's gonna be cocky it's for the redemption. rest of the day. It's redemption, I'm finally being okay. redeemed. Okay, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong, goodbye. This is surely a vlog-worthy moment because it's kind of stupid. We're at uh, the Allenby Junction campground one that we heard from some other hikers was a little overgrown, a little worse for the wear, as they say. And I'm looking at the tent pads, and they are not tent pads at all. I'm about to come up on one, so I'll show you what I mean. But they are literally in the middle of a trail. They have not been padded at all. They look exactly the same as any other bit of ground. Like, here you go. Here you go. This is just... It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but that's very, very bumpy. And right in the middle of this path that you take to get to the water source. Like, our tent's just going to block this. And that is not even the worst one. The worst ones are up here. And so, we are thinking of hiking a little further today. This is something we haven't done yet. We've been kind of stuck to our reservations thus far. Um, but I'm going to talk to Liam and see what he thinks. Because there is a water source here. We had a little trouble finding it. Um, it's kind of like 50 meters away. You have to step over all this deadfall, which is annoying. And then you come back and you have a shitty sleep on a freaking tree root or some crap. Um, so the nice thing is that within seven kilometers of this camp are two more camps down a really easy trail. You know, we could almost do 7K in an hour probably to that next one. That next one, the further one, is where we're supposed to go tomorrow night. So if we were to make it all the way there, oh wow, that's a frog. Hello, Mr. Is it a frog or a toad? I don't know. Very cute either way. Anyways, if we made it all the way there, we get a free rest day, basically. Or if we made it halfway, we went to Marvel Lake, we would essentially get a rest day because the next day we would have four kilometers to do. Um, but I prefer quality sleep um, over, you know, a long day. So I wouldn't mind hiking further today in order to have a better sleep tonight. That'd be fine by me. 
Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna just discuss with Liam here real quick, see what he thinks. Because um, when we first got here, we, we knew the tent pads were crap and we couldn't find a water source. We found the water source now, uh, but the tent pads are still kind of gross, kind of icky. So maybe we'll push on 4K, maybe we'll push on seven, maybe we'll cook here, maybe we'll cook there. I don't know, we'll see what Liam thinks. So after not much debate, we kind of just both agreed uh, that the tent pads at Allen B Junction sucked. We are deciding to press on to the Big Springs Campground, which is seven kilometers, so it's a bit of distance, but it's very easy going trail. It's flat and straightforward. Um, it ain't no like hiker trail, it's, not the, it's like the horse trail. Well, the horse trail wasn't that much better. It was, it no. was so much shorter. I didn't vlog it, but there was a lot of overgrown there crap. Was like, it was like for a minute. No, it was longer than that. No, it was good. Anyways, we're, we're on a different subject now. Uh, so the idea of a possible rest day is really motivating us to do, I think it would be 26K today, all That's five done and finished. Previous longest day. So that would break our record for longest day on this trip. And then tomorrow, sleep in as late as we want. So that's the motivation right now. But I mean, I think we can do this 7K in like, I don't know, a little over an hour. Like it's, it's that easy. It's that easy of a trail. It's like a highway. Hell yeah. It's like Highway 66 or something. Anyways, that's the update. Potential rest day tomorrow, long day today.